The TADS act as stable points of resistance. The procedure involves the careful insertion of TADS into the bone, which is typically done under local anesthesia to minimize discomfort. Once the TADS are in place, orthodontic mechanics such as elastic or coil springs are attached to the TADS and connected to the molars. These mechanisms gradually exert forces on the molars, guiding them forward into their desired positions. In the case of maxillary molar intrusion, careful insertion of TADS into the bone is done under local anesthesia to minimize discomfort. The TADS are placed at specific locations on the buccal and palatal sides of the maxilla to provide optimal anchorage for the desired intrusion movement. Once the TADS are in place, orthodontic mechanics such as elastic chains, coil springs, or other intrusive devices are attached to the TADS and connected to the molars. These mechanisms gradually apply forces that promote the controlled downward movement of the molars into their desired positions. The use of TADS in gummy smile correction aims to intrude the maxillary anterior teeth. The procedure typically involves the placement of TADS in the upper jaw, often near the front teeth. Then, elastic chains are attached to the TADS. These mechanics exert upward forces on the teeth, facilitating their intrusion and reducing the amount of gum tissue visible when smiling. The use of temporary anchorage devices, TADS, in deep bite correction with an increased curve of SPI is a treatment approach that aims to address both the deep bite and exaggerated curve of SPI. TADS are strategically placed in the jawbone to serve as stable anchor points. Once the TADS are in place, elastic chains are connected to the TADS and the brackets or wires attached to the teeth. These mechanics apply targeted forces to guide the movement of the teeth and help correct the deep bite and the increased curve of speed.